Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to do front wrap cross carry, which is a great carry that works really well with a stretchy wrap. Um, this is a boba wrap donated by Boba Family to our baby wearing group. And you start with the center marker at the middle of your chest. This carry works really well with any stretchy wrap as well, not just a boba wrap, so it works with a Moby wrap or any other kind of stretchy wrap. Alright, so I'm going to hold the middle marker at my chest, and then I'm going to turn around and find the tail under my arm and bring that up and over my shoulder. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Bring this tail under my arm and up and over my other shoulder. Now I'm basically all set up for this carry. I have a horizontal pass in the middle here and I have two tails here. So at this point I'm ready to pick up my baby. I'm going to sort of bunch it just so it's a little bit easier to put her in there. Hello little lady. who is five days old. Alright, so when you pick up a newborn, they pretty much position themselves. So this is the position a newborn should be in. Her knees are above her bottom. Her feet make sort of an M shape this way. So I'm, my goal is really just not to disturb her position as I put her in this wrap. So I'm going to take this horizontal pass. I'm going to bring it under her feet. Or over her feet. I'm going to make like a little tube underneath of her there. So she hasn't changed her position at all yet. And she shouldn't throughout the whole wrapping time. Now I'm going to take the top where the tag is. And I'm going to bring that up and over her body. I'm making like a little roll of fabric here in her neck. And this excess at the bottom, I'm going to take and tuck in between us all the way up to the top of her diaper. Just like that. So I haven't moved her. Her knees are here. Her feet are here. Bottom is here, so she still has that nice M shape. Now I'm just going to snug this up. So I'm going to start by pulling the whole tail nice and tight, like that, on one side, and then on the other. You can make sure it doesn't get caught under your armpit. Sometimes it get a little slack on your armpit. This one, nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to feel for any places that have slack. Like, does the top have a little slack? Sometimes it does. You can pull just the top and just tighten the top. And I'm going to work with these one at a time. I'm going to hold one between my knees. And the other one I'm going to pull really snug and spread across her, all the way over her shoulders, and then come kind of bunch it and come under this little foot here. All right, now I'm going to take that one. I'm going to hold it with my knees again in the back. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to pull this really snug. Bring this across her whole body up to her shoulder blades. And then over here under her bum, I'm going to gather it. Just tuck it under that little foot. And now I have my two tails. I'm just going to tie a double knot at the back and I'm done. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more tricks though. So for one, she's kind of, she can't really see around. I can see her face, but I can't see her that well. So she turns her head to one side. I can take this and pull it over my shoulder and kind of cap the shoulder so she can see. And also just makes it easier for me to see her. If she falls asleep and she wants her head a little bit more supported, I can take one rail over her head about to her ear, like that. Um, and that gives her a little bit of head support. If she was wide awake and she really wanted to see around, I could cap this shoulder too, keeping this nice and high on her neck, but really letting her look around. The other thing really nice about this carry is it's pretty easy to nurse in this carry. So if I wanted to nurse in this carry, first thing I'm going to do is loosen my knot a little bit. Then I'm going to bring the slap from my knot around here. So I've got a little bit more slack in my wrap. I'm going to do a slight gentle bounce. She has no interest in nursing. She wants to sleep, but I'll just kind of show what I would do. I'm going to actually loosen a little bit more, pull it in my knot. Bring a little more slack here. Once you get her to a height where she'd be able to reach while she was nursing, a little bit lower, you can take her over to one side, whichever side you wanted to nurse on, and then reach inside the wrap and kind of aim up to latch her on. Um, when you're done nursing, you always want to reposition all the way back up to your original spot. So I would lift her up, take all this slack back that I had, a bunch of slack in that one. Pull this one a little bit tighter. 
And then I'll go back behind me and redo my knot so that it's nice and snug. Um, but the big things you want to look for, and I made a little chart for you here. Um, and when your baby's in a stretchy wrap, you or any carrier, you want to make sure you can get two fingers under their chin. So if I were to put my hand right here, she could fit her whole hand under her chin, so I could definitely get two fingers under there. She should always be visible, even if you're nursing, you should be able to look down and easily see your baby's face. You never want to totally cover up your baby. And they should be very snug and well supported. And then high enough on your chest that you can easily kiss them. So you don't have to like straighten your neck real far down to kiss them. Um, I could actually get her a little higher here. Alright, so that's how you do front up cross carry and stretch you out with a newborn.